All right, so here's my setup, the off-grid setup in the camper van. I went with the big battery, 202 amp hour, lithium ion. And I got my 12-volt uh, panel, six circuits, 1,000-watt inverter, and uh, DC to DC smart charger. And there's my... Uh, MPPT solar charge controller. Um, now I've had EP ever in the past um, and it's been reliable. So, see, I ended up using breakers actually for a stereo system and they've worked well. So, you know, and they're real cheap. So, um, oh, I've never had an issue with them and I don't see anybody else really using those in off grid systems. I bought this because right now I'm only getting up to 13 volts, 13, sometimes 14 volts out of my PV, which I, I've started with the, uh, like I bought the flexible panels when they first came out um, years ago, and uh, I just don't think they're, they don't last as long as the, the thicker ones with the glass. They get really faded, and the control box on the top and I can show you where I had an issue. So it just looks like oh this something the connection in there isn't good. I'm not getting any voltage out of them. Um, I even removed the diode just to see if the diode was bad and I wasn't getting volt I'm still not getting voltage. I have two others. That one completely just, you know, broke off. So I'm, I'm losing voltage. I'm just gonna go with uh, one, I'm gonna look for a 340 watt, 24 volt panel. That way I know I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna get a glass one. I'm, I'm not gonna use these flexible ones anymore. That way if I have 24 volts coming in here, because it's not going to charge the lithium, this needs 14.6 volts to charge it. If I'm only putting out 14 volts from the panels, you know, it's not going to fully charge the battery. But this I have programmed to uh, put out 14.6. Um, so the big battery, you know, they want 14.6 for the float, the bulk, and the absorption and they don't need any equalization so I, I program that you can hook this up the EP ever I just bought this guy and I can plug that in with the network cable download the app and uh, sync it and then I can program it through the phone you can also use a different cable this is the network by USB, and you can use your PC to download it. And I've done it on both. Um, it's a little bit to figure out, but I think the uh, the app on the phone was a little easier to work with. Um, it's a pretty intuitive interface. Um, and you know, when I first started using EP Ever, there was no customer service. Couldn't get any help. Now they actually get back to you very fast. Um, and they're very helpful so it's been it's been great you know I wasn't sure I tried different finding the software myself and I just sent a quick email they sent me a link and um, to the proper software and and then it was it was a little bit like I said but you know not difficult to sync up and this you know you can get the app for that as well and connect Bluetooth um, the only thing when you're hooking the charge controller on Bluetooth, you want to go through the app rather than going through your phone to sync it. And same for this, as long as your Bluetooth is on, it's good. Um, and then this will protect the alternator, um, my cranking battery, and the lithium battery. So it, it's, I think it's worth the investment. So.
and see how it's going to work when I when I put a, a new panel up there. Um, rather than trying to fix those old ones I have, um, and go from there. So, you can see my counter. And these are actually pool tiles um, I got for free. And I did a lot of research. I found a, a company in Florida. I can get the name if, if you want. But it's actually silicone grout and adhesive. It's, it is great. It's for pools as well. Um, but, I mean, this, since this, the van walls are like, they're not straight. So it's hard to just stick something in adhesive it without it moving. But this adhesive, you hold it for, you know, a minute. And it stays pretty well right where you squeezed it on. And then the grout, you know, you got to get their special applicator. And you got to move fast. But... You know, I could take this panel down and shake it, and that tile's not going anywhere. So we got the maple, oak, black walnut, cherry. And there's mango. Mango. There's the other mango. It's really beautiful wood. So this bed just right out like that yeah. these are pretty sweet hinges little lids and cheap little locks so they don't fly open when I'm driving so there's my heater controller the Renogy inverter and this is the uh, remote control for the uh, interface for the EP ever. That's the uh, MT50. For some reason it's not communicating anymore, but uh, that's another thing I'll have to figure out later. But I can communicate through the app on my phone. And I got the swivel seats. They both swivel. And my clothes up in there. Fan. And I use the bamboo uh, paneling, which is like you know, it comes in a roll, so you could roll it to the contours of the van. And then I just made trim, a strip that's oak, real thin, and used that uh, tile adhesive to stick that up there. And I even had some extra tile adhesive. I found these old little mirrors my mom had, and they stuck right up there. I just held them for a minute even in the hot weather right now. You know, that adhesive is great. So, here's the uh, little table that I made. Just a piece of black walnut, raw edge. I made that frame out of mango. I just put it on a dowel rod. I just gotta be careful because you can bump it and it'll fall. But you know, you swivel the seat around so you can eat, a little, put your computer on there, whatever. So, yeah, just wanted to share. Um, like I said, I'll see how, how everything pans out when I get a 340 watt, 24 volt solar panel. Uh, I want to keep this battery charged as good as I can. There's a 10 year warranty. So, um, all they do is if you've tried, if you have an issue, you can supposedly get a hold of them and they have tech support. They'll walk you through. And if it's nothing you did, then they will replace the battery. Um, so, I just make sure that I have everything programmed right to their specification. That way, you know, as long as I don't open this up. I can send it back. Alright, thanks for watching.